Hey guys, it's Bobby here. It's time for another vacuum cleaner comparison video. Today I'll be comparing two very different machines, the Kirby Centria and the Eureka 1934A. I think the only thing similar uh, is that they are fan-first machines. They're just very different vacuums. The Kirby doesn't have any beater bars, whereas the Eureka does. Uh, but the Kirby is mostly metal, where the Eureka is mostly plastic. I do like that they both have a foot switch. I actually prefer vacuums with a foot switch. I don't know why. I just like stepping on them. And I like that the height adjustment on the Kirby is also a foot switch. That's nice that you don't have to bend over and turn them on. Uh, I've had the Kirby for maybe three months now. I found a lady on Craigslist that was offering a Kirby Centria for 60 bucks, and I emailed her and got it that day. It was only 10 minutes from where I lived. It worked out perfectly. Um, it was in awful shape when I got it. The bag was stained, it, the brush roll was clogged with pet hair and stuffing and women's hair, all kinds of nastiness. And it was dull, but I had a friend who fixes vacuums and he shined it up for me and made it look like a brand new vacuum, so that's nice. It didn't come with any attachments, but my G5, the siding back there, came with attachments. Um, so they fit the Centria, but I never use them anyway because I have a wind tunnel with onboard tools, the Dyson with onboard tools, great tools in a Dyson, and of course the Eureka uh, smart back with onboard tools. So I'm not going to go digging in the closet to connect a Kirby up. I don't even like their attachments. I don't think they're that great of quality, especially for the price of a new machine. I actually tried to sell uh, Kirby vacuums back in 2002 for about a week. That job kind of ruined my life because the, the dealer lied to me about everything. But it was an experience, and I was very familiar with their their practices. I would never recommend anyone to do that. If you're considering it, don't. But uh, I actually got the G5 on Craigslist um, probably six years ago, maybe. I paid $200 for it. It came with the attachments, but no shampooer. But then I had a friend give me his G4 shampooer that fits, so I kind of have some franken Kirby's going on here with attachments, but it works. But when I got that G5, it was already way over 10 years old, and I paid $200 for it. So to get the current model for 60 bucks, that's quite a steal. I was very happy with that. The Eureka 1934A, I got it at a thrift shop maybe two years ago, and I love it. It was only like 10 or 15 bucks, and I've always wanted one. I've just liked the way they look. I think they're very sexy in black, and the lightweight, just the old classic style. Uh, it's very easy to push. It works well. It's very quiet. Not super quiet, but it has a nice deep throaty sound. It's not a screamer just a great vacuum. I really like it. I did have to hook a white extension cord up to it because the cord is just too short for me to deal with. Um, and it does not have a quick release uh, cord wrap, so I don't like that. But it's still a good vacuum, and I'm very happy with it. It reminds me of vacuums from my childhood, and I've loved vacuums since I was old enough to pronounce the word Hoover. I'm 26 now, so they've always been my one true passion. So I like anything that reminds me of my childhood. All right, so we'll go ahead and start the comparison test. One more thing I forgot to mention about the similarities of these vacuums, which most of you probably already know, is that they both have the center belt path, so that can get in the way. Oh, excuse the noise, that's just the electric litter box scooping. Um, but uh, I like vacuums that have no belt path or the belt path off to the side. But anyway, we'll go ahead and do the Eureka now and compare it to the Kirby. Okay, so I think the Kirby obviously did a better job. It's just more powerful, but when you go consider a $1,500 machine compared to an $89 machine, I guess 
that's to be expected. But still, did you hear that nice, deep, throaty sound of the brush rolls gently tapping the carpet and the sound of the dirt rushing through the, the paper fill tube of the, the bag, the FNG bag? That was really nice. So anyway, that is my comparison between the Kirby and the Eureka. Jasper says hello. Thanks for watching.